this is what we're dealing with. I'm pretty scared because this is the first time that I've ever organised a bookshelf from start to finish with books that I've already got. Normally I just collect new books as I go, shove them on the shelf. I've always had the perfect amount of space, but obviously I had to get a new bookshelf for this video because I have too many books. I tried sort of planning out different shelves and how it was going to go and just sort of what it was going to look like and I got nowhere with that. So I'm just going to place them on there and just see and just hope for the best. I have no sort of structure, no plan, no nothing. Hopefully it goes very well and hopefully I have a pretty bookshelf. The only goal that I've got is to make this bookshelf as beautiful as possible. I'm going to sort of have to play around with it really and just see what happens. Okay, so this is my first like plan situation is I'm going to put all of my like darker books, my black books on the bottom because... My room's pink and it's pretty and it's strawberry print and it's all like lovely and nice so I don't want like big black books being the main focal point of the bookshelf but obviously I do want to keep them separate to the ones that I've already read otherwise it's just going to get confusing so this is mainly going to be like a TBR shelf like the whole thing the whole bookcase itself is going to be books that I haven't really read yet because I've got so many more for my birthday as you would have seen in my birthday book haul. I'm going to put the dark ones down here just to Keep them separate, I guess. I don't really know, but that is the first point of plan anyway. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna start off, oh, Jesus, that's heavy, with the Throne of Glass series, and I'm just gonna pop that down here. Okay. Because I think it looks pretty cute down there. And then I'm gonna quickly go and collect all my other like darker books and put them next to it, just so they're like right at the bottom, so we can't really see them that much. I do also have my Harry Potter box set and in the autumn and winter time I do have it like facing outwards because I like change my room and redecorate for autumn and winter but for now I'm probably just going to have this ow my elbow just click I'm probably just going to have this bit out because I quite like what that looks like in my room but I'm going to leave it there for now I don't know yet I think for now that's everything for my dark books but we may find them along the way I don't know I don't think it's enough to like cover a whole shelf However, we will try. So, obviously, I have the Crescent City series over here, which is by Sarah J. Mass. I'm obviously going to put them next to the Throne of Glass series because it's by the same author. I do also have the Akatar series, but I kind of want that a bit further up because it is one of my favourite series. And the only reason these are down here is because they're a bit too dark and the Akatar series are like really bright and colourful. So, yes, they are by the same author, but I'm going to keep them separate. Don't kill me, but it's okay. aren't necessarily black books but they are why can't i do this video why does everything hate me today as i was saying these aren't necessarily black books they're just really dark and they may look nice on the shelf and i may move them up a bit later but for now i'm just going to put them on the bottom shelf just in case and i think for now i'm going to leave that bottom shelf as it is and maybe focus on the rest and then maybe we'll tweak it after i'm not 100 percent sure yet but for now i'm just going to leave it like that Okay, I just want to point out that arguably the next three shelves are the most important looking shelves. These are the ones that I want my favourite series, the most beautiful series I've got, because if I'm filming a TikTok or a video with this as the background or whatever, I will sit on the floor like this, and these next three shelves are the ones that you're probably going to see the most. Obviously, I want these ones to look the best, so that is what we are going to organise now. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking to leave the Twisted series on this shelf, because I've also got the If Love series, which I obviously want to keep together because it's by the same author. Or will I be able to fit them all up there? Why is Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home so bent, by the way? Let me just sort that out. And I also definitely know that I want this one facing outwards because it literally is like one of my favourite book covers ever. So I'm going to try and incorporate it where it's like facing out like this. But I don't know how I'm going to do that. This is just a video of me self-doubting myself. This isn't good. <laughs> this is not content that you want to see. Try and like arrange these in a cute manner. I definitely want Chestnut Springs to be a focal point because it is one of my favourite series. But we will see. We will see what we can do. I also need to save a little bit of room for Hopeless because that is the next book in this series. It's coming out in October, October 13th. And obviously it needs its own pride place on this bookshelf. But I kind of want to keep this in the middle. Maybe put these ones up next to it. Also, I need to ask a question because this is something that I've been really confused over and really toying with like ideas on what to do. Why do people, when they put books on their bookshelf, put the first one in the series at the bottom? I have forever always done it where the first one goes on top. Well, I don't know. Do you do that? Should I do that? Should I put the number one at the bottom? I actually don't know. So, I don't know. How have I lost a book? Got it. It's cute, but I don't want too much pastel in one go because 
we're gonna have to save some for up here. I don't know whether it's best to maybe save these for up here. Because obviously we need room for like magnolia parks to be outwards. I could always put magnolia parks here. That's cute. Do I like that? I think I like that. And then obviously the If Love series has to go here. A little bit of room though. But I may get her other couple of books, which is King of Wrath, King of Greed and her other series. So hopefully that can just slot like quite nicely in there. I'm actually not sure whether to swap this around. Maybe? And then maybe put these ones down like heartless and that. Oh, hold on. Oh my goodness! Maybe like that. Do I like that? I fell. Next shelf is going to be the Akatar series because again it's like bright coloured enough, pretty series and I kind of want to keep as many series together as possible because I've also got quite a few standalones and stuff. I don't know. I'm just going to have to slap it on there and just see what happens. So that's just there. That's just there like that and it's not even near the edge. Oh, I don't know. I actually hate this. Watching these videos is enjoyable but doing this is so bad. I have two things here that I really want to put on my books. So for the Chestnut Spring series, which is obviously Flawless, Heartless, Powerless, Reckless, I have this tiny little cowboy hat, which I actually got at my best friend Marley's house. She had a cowboy themed birthday party and it was on a cupcake and obviously I stole one. I'm gonna pop that literally just there. For the Akatar books, I got this bat hair clip, which I will be wearing when I read the books. So how cute is that? Like for the bat boys, you already know. So literally just gonna pop it on there like that. Now I need more books. Kind of wanted like a fantasy shelf kind of thing, but obviously most of my fantasy books are like dark colours which are on the bottom shelf, which is why they're on the bottom. I've got a few more series. I have got the Lancaster Prep series that could go there. Maybe I'll put that there. This is the situation that I'm dealing with right now. Every unread book that I've ever received is here. <sighs> can you even see my head? Yes, you can. Okay. Ah, because I've got Lauren Asher's Throttled here. But I've also got other Lauren Asher books down on the bottom shelf because I said that they were too dark. So I might take them off the bottom shelf. They're off. Now we need another place for them. It's one of them things and situations where I don't know where to start. I mean, the shelf looks pretty for now. What am I supposed to do with the rest of it? So obviously these are dark books, like the first two are anyway, but they're pink enough and pretty enough that I wanted them in like the main bit of the bookshelf, if that makes sense. So, do I want it here? They're in the wrong order anyway, but do I want it here? Because then it kind of matches with this pink, or should I just put it next to it and then those there? This is hard. This is really hard, hold on. I just broke a fingernail. This is just dreadful. What do I do, book? Speak to me. Give me some ideas, give me some inspiration. We've got one nail down, we've got nine nails to go. We need to break some, ow. Can you even see? Can you see what I'm dealing with right now? Let me just, let me just tilt you down a bit, hold on. This is what we're dealing with. So we've got like the knickknacks, knickknacks and just books. I kind of want to keep the Heartstopper books like this and then I might put my little like disco ball thing on it. Okay, I like that. There we go. That's cute. I want that like that. Thinking maybe, is that going to be too much? Okay, do I like that? Oh, I hate it. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. So I got quite a few Tessa Bailey books that I haven't read yet, but she is one of my favourite authors. But I do have like four or maybe two, I don't even know, on my pink bookshelf. But obviously that is like pink, done up pink. But I kind of want to take the ones that are off of the pink bookshelf and put them on here because then I can have all my Tessa Bailey books together. Put them here. I'm going to go and get my other pink ones and then maybe that's what we'll do. I also have these standalones here that I actually have read, but I feel like they're pretty enough if I wanted to put them on the shelf that I can. For example, I really want Practice Makes Perfect and When in Rome on there because I really liked them books. I want The Good Girl Complex because I have Bad Girl Reputation, which I haven't read, but they're pretty enough to go on there. And I really want the third book in the series as well. I want Archer's Voice because it was one of my favourite books of this year so far and I have not stopped thinking about it until I got, like, since I've read it. And Things We Never Got Over because I have Things We Hide From The Light there. Oh my god, an icebreaker. I don't know whether it's worth putting my Shatter Me books on this shelf because they are some of my favourite books ever. I kind of want this there too. Right, oh my god, 
this is getting a bit stressful. I also need my Tessa Bailey books. Oh my God, and I also want my Ali Hazelwood books moved as well. Okay, so I'm gonna have to rip the pink thing off of those. Oh God, I'm just moving everything from this shelf onto this shelf. This is not the aim of this video. I'm sweating, I'm actually sweating. These four books, I'm gonna take off the pink thing because I'll just have to fill them in with like another book. I kind of find that when I did that pink bookshelf, it was books that, every single book that I had, I made pink. But now I'm gonna leave that as like my YouTube backdrop thing. So like all books I don't really care about. And then this bookshelf is gonna be like either my favorite books and favorite series or TBR books that I haven't read yet. Oh, this is gonna hurt my soul. Because ah! I think like her spines are pretty enough and bright enough that that is what I want like on this shelf. So, and especially with Tessa Bailey as well, like not only just Ali Hazelwood, Tessa Bailey too. <gasps> oh no, I fully ripped it. Done. I'm gonna make my little Tessa Bailey slash Ali Hazelwood shelf, I think. This little section over here. So, have one, ow, what have I just trodden on? I've trodden on like, sharp. <sighs> And then obviously we're going to move on to Ali Hazelwood because I just recently got Love Theoretically. So I have read Love on the Brain and the Love Hypothesis, but obviously this is on my TBR and I kind of just want to keep them all together. So yeah, that's cute. Thinking of maybe putting the Things We Never Got Over and Things We Hide From The Light next to the Akatar books for no particular reason other than the fact that they look nice. <gasps> I've just realised that my bloody spines don't match. I don't have the matching spines. That one's up there and that one's down there. Does that look stupid? Does that look stupid? <laughs> These Harry Potter books have been moved so many times, by the way. I might put that on the top shelf. That way I can put either the Shatter Me series here or here. I've still got so many books to put on this bookshelf. But I'm kind of thinking just standalones now, up until that point, maybe. I'm gonna put Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Never After next to the Shatter Me books because then it's at least like fantasy slash dystopian next to each other maybe. I'm gonna put the Inheritance Game series next to the Akatar series for now. But I also do have the Hunger Games trilogy, which I've had since I was younger. Like these are like the old, old covers, which I think I have read or at least tried to read. Like they are a bit battered up, but I don't like the spines of them. Like the covers are very in your face. I've still got like a good few standalones as well to put on the shelf. Then that looks so stupid. I think that there ruins it. But what else can I physically put there? I'm gonna squeeze them ones there and then I'm gonna put addicted to you on show like this and then it not only hides that but it also shows it like this because again haven't read it but it's a beautiful cover so i obviously want it on show oh, i've still got these oh my goodness i've still got these books here oh, i could just shove them there shouldn't i they're the wrong way around as well i guess i could just do that for now i've got a bit of a plan okay so i've got this little basket and it's got bookmarks in it, tabs, just everything that you sort of like need to like tab and annotate and whatever, read a book. And I kind of wanted that next to this with my Heartstopper books. So what I might do is take out my Ali Hazelwoods, take out, take out these, put the basket here, maybe. I bet you're all screaming at the camera right now saying don't do that. That basket used to be on my Shatter Me books on my other shelf. I can put like a candle there because then it won't look as like empty. I've got this massive candle that I could put here. I don't know whether to put the basket like that. I could have it like that. Instead of the fine print and the billionaire series, I kind of want the Lancaster Prep series there because I just feel like they're quite nice. And then that way the background of the YouTube video thing and the TikTok video thing won't be like as big of a deal. I think that's better and then I can move my love on the brains and like my Ali Hazelwood somewhere else. I kind of want this on show because obviously it's Harry Styles but we're not going to deal with that right now. And then whatever I've got left I can put on that top shelf and then we're pretty much done. Oh and I also have another thing that I want to show you guys that I want to do but I'm going to do that now, one sec. 
I of course have my beloved Kindle here with me and I want to put that for when I'm not using it. I want to be able to put it on the shelf. So I'm thinking, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to move that box again, aren't I? I'm going to move the basket. I'm going to swap the basket round, <coughs> shove them there, basket there, and then do what I want to do with my Kindle here. So these little bookends, they are an absolute godsend when it comes to making sure that your books don't fall over on the shelf. I literally just got these in a packet off of Amazon. I've got spare ones and I've got whatever. They also work for something that I've been doing recently for when I'm not using my Kindle. I do tend to take my Kindle pretty much everywhere where I go anyway, just in case I want it. But I've been really enjoying just like plopping it like here, for example, and then putting my Kindle away when I don't use it or when I don't need it. And I think that looks really cool. No, or I could put the candle there. Yeah, maybe that looks better. Yeah, and the Kindle there, that's good. Now it's time for knickknacks though. I've got a couple of signs, I've got candles, I've got a wax melt. Obviously I don't wanna bombard my bookshelf with all of this crap because I don't want it to look too cluttered but there are definitely things I want on it. I also have this little tray that I got for my birthday which I normally, when I take all my like bracelets off and stuff, I literally just lump them onto this little tray but I also got a load of like gift cards and things for my birthday as well which have been like placed on there because they're like bookish gift cards from like Waterstones or Amazon but look how cute this little tray is so obviously if you guys don't know I've got a little Yorkie little Yorkshire Terrier called Tinkerbell and my mum well actually the dog got it for me for my birthday but like my mum got it for me the dog got it for me for my birthday so what I might do is put that on top of the basket I also have this Harry Styles art print which I am going to get a frame for so I'm not going to put it up until I get a frame but that was just sort of like balanced here or here I may put it here because then it's like the Harry Potter books I want it hidden because I don't want them hidden but like I'd rather cover that the box than other books or I have got a little gap up here so I could put them here obviously the candle alone is literally just a candle like a red candle which is beautiful but I did want to keep the box because it is like strawberry vibes and I also have this big fat Primark candle and I want to put this on there because it just matches my room yeah maybe here I have this little candle here as well which have I burnt this yet I have and I've let it tunnel completely which is not good but whatever and another thing that I want to do is add like a little pot or something for my annotation pens and stuff because obviously I've got a few of my tabs in my basket but I have like post-it notes I have this entire thing of highlighters and things and different pens and accessories that I want to keep on the bookshelf but I'm going to need like a jar but I don't have like a jar or a oh actually oh, I know what I'm going to do I'm going to run down and get something one second ta-da grand reveal for a £1.50 cup but I bought these cups from B&M and of course they are strawberry prints so they match everything in my room so I might put one there or even there and add some like, pens and stuff into it really. I already know that I'm not going to get all of these in there so I'm just going to leave it like this for now Okay guys, there's one more thing that I need to put on my bookshelf, which is one of my presents from Riley, my fiance, for my birthday. And it is this really, really cute Ella Rose Reads YouTube sign. It actually lights up, but obviously while it's on the bookshelf, I'm just gonna leave it normal. For now, I'm just gonna leave it there because I think it looks really cute. It's gonna be like the focal point of a video, and I'm happy with that. I have one more really exciting thing to show you before I go. It is arguably something that I've been so excited to have, and possess in my entire life i've always wanted to find a way to do this but i couldn't because i simply didn't have the room i'm not even going to tell you i'm just going to bring it in and i'm just going to show you what it is ah! i have a reading chair i have a reading chair i've wanted one of these literally forever and i had a desk here so i simply just couldn't is so good so exciting and I can just sit here grab a book from my bookshelf and just live my absolute best life so amazing right I'm just gonna give you a little rundown of all the shelves just really really quickly little bookshelf tour within the reorganization video look at me I'm very efficient so obviously over here on this top shelf we have my Harry Potter books 
and then we go into like little duologies that maybe a series that I haven't finished yet. For example, I have Good Girl Complex and Bad Girl Reputation. The new one has just been released and I really, really want it immediately. I have Funny You Should Ask and Once More With Feeling. I have When In Rome and Practice Makes Perfect. And then I go on to my Lauren Asher books, which is Throttled, The Fine Print, Terms and Conditions, and Final Offer. I then have my little Harry Styles art print, and then behind that is The Inheritance Games, The Hawthorne Legacy, and The Final Gambit, which is by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. That is the whole entire of the Inheritance Game series, as well as my little pot of pens, which is over there. And then on the next shelf, we have Things We Never Got Over and Things We Hide From The Light. Again, the third one in this little trilogy is coming out in September, I believe, as well as my little pink candle that I've got. And then of course we have the Shatter Me series. I am slowly but surely collecting the novellas. I really do want every single one of them. And I have Once Upon A Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber, as well as The Ballad of Never After. I then have a couple of standalones, Cleopatra and Frankenstein, Archer's Voice, Set On You, Underneath The Sycamore Tree, Part Of Your World, Icebreaker, Liar's Beach, Carrie Soto is back, The Road Trip, and then I have my Kindle for when I'm not using it, Without Merit, the Spanish Love Deception, and The Summer Switch Off, and then The Proposal by Elle Still. I then have this beautiful Yankee candle that I got for my birthday, but behind that we have It Happened One Summer, Hook, Line and Sinker, Fix Her Up, To Love Her or Lose Her, Tools of Engagement, Secretly Yours, and Unfortunately Yours, all by Tessa Bailey. And of course have my basket, my little trinket tray with my vouchers and stuff on it. And then the entire Heartstopper series by Alice Osman. And then if we go down to this shelf, we have the Twisted series by Anna Huang, as well as the If Love series by her as well. And the Chestnut Spring series by Elsie Silver and the Magnolia Park series by Jessa Hastings. And then moving down to the last two shelves, I have the Lancaster Prep series by Monica Murphy. I have My Policeman, I have you Again and Made in Manhattan by Laura Lane. I have The Dead Romantics. I have the entire Akatar series, which is out at the moment with my little back clip. I have my Ali Hazelwood books. I have This Is Gonna Hurt by Adam Kay, The Street by the book, and my Hunger Games books, which I didn't really want necessarily on show because I didn't really like the look of the spines. So I've put Addicted to You over that as well. I obviously, when I collect more of the Addicted books, have to make room for that series somewhere, but we will take that when the time comes. I'll have to get rid of some of my standalones to put that series on there. And of course, at the bottom, we have some little standalones here that I couldn't really put anywhere else, which is A Thousand Boy Kisses, Generation 10, and One Day in December, because obviously I am saving these. I have read Generation 10, but One Day in December, I'm obviously saving for Christmas. I then go on to my like black slash dark books, which is Six of Crows, The Book Thief, Too Late by Colleen Hoover, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Play. I have two copies of The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins, Sunnyville, Crescent City series, and last but not least, the Throne of Glass box set, which I am so excited for to get into for the autumn months. You would not even believe how excited I am for this. But that is everything from me today. That is my new bookshelf completely organized in front of you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that we don't have to do this very often because the more books I get, the more organization that needs to come. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below and all that other YouTube stuff. And I hope to see you in the next one. Love you guys lots. Bye.